In this video, I'm going to show you one of the advantages associated with converting raw scores into Z scores, and it's specifically relevant to creating an overall score that is actually meaningful and can be interpreted. So in this example, we have three measures of, let's say, intelligence tests, and one of them is obviously measured on a very different scale. So you can get a score as high as 120 on this FSC underscore total, whereas in the other scales, really you can only get about 19, that seems to be about the highest. So let's just look at the min and max very quickly. And we can look at the mean and the minimum and maximum, just to show you how different these variables are. And we can see that the mean 11.54, 10.23, these look pretty comparable, and you might think, well, maybe I can add those together. But then you get this whopping 79.3 with a maximum of 144. It's obviously very different than the other scales. But what we can do is we can actually convert them into Z scores, and that's going to put them on a common metric. So click on Save Standardized Values as Variables, and SPSS will do so automatically. And now I have three new variables which all have the same scale. They're all going to have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. See that? A mean of 0 and a standard... I didn't ask for the standard deviation. Trust me, it's only 1. And here are the minimum and maximums, and they're within the same ballpark. And now I can actually calculate a composite score based on these three standardized scores and it will actually make sense to do so. I'm going to divide it by 3. So I'm just going to sum and divide by 3 to create my overall. I'm just going to call it overall underscore Z. So it's three Z scores added together, divided by 3, and then I get an overall score over here, which is actually potentially meaningful in terms of interpretation, whereas adding them up here would not necessarily be as informative or as meaningful.